Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Book 2 Unit 9 Past Continuous Statements Dear students in this unit we will practice about past continuous uh, statements let's look at the objectives of this unit so after completing this unit you will be able to use the past continuous to set the background for a story make past continuous questions and have knowledge of reflexive pronouns okay now let's move to the lesson now where do we use past continuous okay so so use the past continuous to set the background for a story or tell about events in progress in the past okay so for past continuous we tell about events in progress in the past okay and for simple past we use simple past for completed actions in the past okay those actions that completed in the past we use simple past for them okay and for events okay in progress in the past okay we use past continuous okay now let's look uh, at this uh, at these examples i was talking to my ma to my wife i missed my stop okay i wasn't paying attention let's look at another example we were waving to a friend and we walked into a glass door we weren't looking a friend of mine deleted all my files when she was using my computer when my friend was using my computer she deleted all my files so if you look at this statement was talking I was talking to my wife and I missed my stop okay I wasn't paying attention so in the past you know as we have discussed before is we used in simple or simple present for simple past we use was okay and for continuous okay for continuous we use verb plus ing okay so I was talking talk is the verb and ing so this is con continuous was makes it past continuous I was talking to my wife and I missed my stop okay so missed we use simple we make simple past by adding ed okay I missed my stop so this is simple past I wasn't paying attention okay we were waving okay in simple present we use R okay and in past the past of R is over so we were waving to a friend so this is past continuous we were waving to a friend and we walked okay this is simple past we just added e we add ed to make it past into a glass door we weren't looking okay we were not looking this is contraction for we were not looking a friend of mine deleted all my file when she was using my computer when my friend was using my computer she deleted all my file okay so hope you have got an idea for past continuous we use ing with the past form of the verb be okay and in simple past we add ed to make the past okay so now let's move on to the next part of this unit and we will see here like for past continuous for questions okay past continuous question were you skiing with a friend okay remember this will come the B form of the verb will come in the beginning were you skiing with a friend no I wasn't I was by myself what were you doing I was talking on my cell phone okay so 
all these statements shows past continuous you have to look at the verb b form of the verb and the ing let's look at the next uh, that is simple past did you hurt yourself okay did you hurt yourself yes i did what did you do i called for help okay simply we will add ed to make the past i called for help and what did you do okay so did is the past of do what did you do so hope you have got an idea about past continuous verb form and simple past let's move on to the next part of this unit okay and that is reflexive pronouns so do you know what are reflexive pronouns okay what are reflexive pronouns okay if I ask you this question what do you mean by reflexive pronouns okay so they are you can say they are a special kind of pronoun okay and we means it's a special kind of pronoun and we use it okay we usually use it okay when the object of the sentence is same as the subject okay so what are reflexive pronouns they are a special kind of pronouns okay we usually use it when the object of the sentence is same as the subject okay now let's look at the first example I hurt myself okay I hurt myself okay the object is myself and the subject is I okay so both belong to the same person you hurt yourself so yourself is the object and you is the subject so subject and object refers to the same person okay he hurt himself okay himself is the object and he is the subject both refer to the same person she hurt herself we hurt ourselves they hurt themselves okay so you can see the object okay of the sentence is the same as the subject so these this kind of pronouns are called reflexive pronouns hope you have enjoyed today's lesson this is all for today see you in the next class